Falling on your feet, do you finally see what you're missing? I don't know if you can hear the rain sound. It started to heavily rain and earlier I had just a cloud sitting and blocking all the sunlight. So yeah, if you hear some strange situation in this video, just blame the weather because weather is really crazy here in this time of year. So hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for stopping by and visiting today. I have to share with you a very, very interesting product that I just discovered by chance. I haven't heard anyone talking about this product and I was um, browsing through Clarins website two weeks ago and I am very interested in a product they have, double serum eye cream and I could not part with money. I just wanted to purchase it but the um, high price tag did not appeal to me especially because I have so many eye creams to try. Long story short, I haven't purchased that one. So they had this kind of deal that no matter what you purchase, you are getting to pick up nine samples and Clarence samples let me tell you straight that they are not like very tiny stingy ones some of them have few mls there and they are very good for travel and because i'm preparing for my vacation not only the, the one that i have in a few days but also in the future i was very interested they had an offer to purchase a kit with four travel products travel size products and a bag and also I was browsing to see what else I can buy to reach that threshold. And I came across this product, which I'm going to share with you and also do a wear test throughout those days. So this is the Milk Boost Capsules. It's a radiance and nutrition with peach and kernel oil. So basically I haven't seen anyone mentioning this, but I was very interested as soon as I have seen it. So first of all, if you see the packaging you have here several tiny little capsules so I was very intrigued by this because a few years ago I have had something similar but it was either vitamin C or hyaluronic acid or retinol from a brand I think it was Elizabeth Arden so yeah I like the concept of having anything skincare related in a capsule and you break one capsule and use it once I think it's very very um, good from the point of view of preserving the quality of the ingredients that are inside because in this way the product doesn't get in contact with air just prior you are breaking it and put it on your skin this product it's coming in uh, a jar that contains 30 capsules. When I have done my researches for this product, I was surprised to see that this is not available to the USA Clorans website. So probably that's why I haven't heard people mentioning because my target um, audience and also the channels that I'm watching are mostly from uh, that part of the world. So let me give you a bit of uh, information and then we are going to go through the application portion and stay tuned because by the end of the video I'm going to reveal which of the very affordable drugstore product I have in my collection I found that resembles wheat and also I'm going to show you what I else bought from Clarence but I'm going to have the timestamps so if you are not interested about this product but you want to see the whole just by all means skip to that point. So what is this? The makeup contained in the capsules has light coverage and it's suitable for every skin type and therefore for every woman. The complexion perfecting fluid gives a naturally radiant look and glow. In just one step, it evens out the complexion. A single dose provides natural coverage and satiny finish. The formula consists of 94% ingredients of natural origin and the remaining 6% ensure an optimal makeup result, a sensual texture and a good durability. The delicious peach scent that unites all products in the Milky Boost line appears to the sense and it's addictive. Yes, it has a uh, nice peachy scent but it's a natural scent. It's not nothing like the one from... Um, I have in mind that palette from Too Faced. Peach. Peach something. Peach Perfect or so. That was an artificial peach scent. This is a very natural peach scent. Preserving and respecting nature and not wasting its resources has always been important to Clarins. 
Throughout the development of the Milky Boost capsules, an ecological approach was taken with the aim of circular life cycle. One capsule contains one application. Each capsule contains just the right amount of makeup applied to face and neck for a beautiful and radiant finish. And it also contains a cocoa extract. So let me show you, actually I uh, applied yesterday this on my skin and I haven't used any primer. I have just taken a piece of capsule and first I tried to open it with my bare hands but I wasn't able so I called the help of a scissor so as you can tell this has this kind of pear shape and here it has the, the bottleneck to say it so. So use your scissor and break the product then I have applied it to my face. Now as I told you first thing that I've noticed upon application was the peachy scent, which by all means is a very pleasant scent. But if you don't like perfume in your foundation, you probably will find this a drawback, but I just adore it. And then I have used my BK Beauty brush to spread the product, I've applied all the product from one capsule. And I do believe, because I have a small face, that that is too much for me. So what I should have done, I should have apply all the product on the back of my hand and then to dab as much as I need for my face. And if something left, then just do some touch-ups or put it on my neck. And followed by that, I have applied my NYX Bear With Me concealer because this is more lightweight concealer, but I just could enjoy the beautiful canvas that I got upon application. I never believed that I'm going to get so much coverage. I thought that is something like more a tinted moisturizer, but this guy has some coverage. Not much, but I will say that it's light to medium and it's buildable coverage. And also the shade that I have, I should have told you that uh, it has six shades and I have the lightest shade. I think you could see from the close up that I have the shade number one. Followed by that, I didn't want to add too many products for the first day of test. I haven't add primer, no setting set spray. I add a um, blush only, so I have used my Westman Atelier um, bronze stick on my cheeks, as you can tell, for it has had a small accident. I drop it from my hands and I was just hoping like nothing happened to it. Luckily it didn't. And the rest of the products that I've applied, you can see on the screen. I will also link down below on my description box. Yeah, this is the final look. I thought it's nice. It gives me right amount of coverage. Also to finish the uh, makeup application I have used yesterday this eyeshadow palette by Catrice and the Rare Beauty Mascara. And for the lips I have used the Jora Cosmetics Lip Liner in Bel Air and I have used another product that I purchased from Clarins, from Clarhan. I don't remember if this was in the samples or in the kit that I built, but this is the another product that I wanted to try from the the brand is the Lip Comfort Oil in the shade 04, and this has the Sweet Briar Rose Oil, and it's it's just wonderful. It smells like a dream, and I could see throughout the day, even though the shine or um, the uh, hydration from the oil might have been faded. My lips have been um, left hydrated throughout at least four hours after that occurred. So yeah, I, uh, I will definitely go purchase a full size of one of those oils very, very soon, as well as another product that I'm going to show you for the second part of the test. By the end of the day, I actually didn't wear this product for so long. I had it for eight hours because I applied it later in the afternoon. But anyway, for me, this is enough to tell if a foundation or tinted moisturizer is going to work for me. And as you can tell, I just had small patches of oil, but nothing to be disastrous. And the product hasn't moved, hasn't settled into my 11s. Usually this is the place where I'm uh, having the most breakout. So that is for me a sign when, when a base product is good for my skin. And I only set 
a bit with this powder from Catrice that I use it for test purpose and I have used this with a brush. I didn't use the sponge Method. technique. So I was very impressed as uh, you can see by the end of the day by the staying power of those little guys. Now to the second day, actually this is the day when I'm sitting down and talking to you. I went and added another product. Actually, I was looking at this product before deciding to purchase those capsules. I wanted to purchase this primer, but I wasn't sure if I'm going to like it. Hence, I received a sample. So this is the Instant Smooth Perfecting Touch. This is a primer that contains a Acacia, Acacia gum. However, I compared that with Tarte, but I find that Tarte is a little bit more thick, while this is more lightweight and doesn't have so much silicone to it. So if you prefer more hydrating, this is even better than Tarte on that matter. So it's another product that I have on my list. So today I break another capsule and I put that on top of the primer, which I very much enjoyed. I, I thought that my skin looks, looks very, very unified to say that after I have applied the primer and together they work even better. Those two products are making a good Team together. And because I told you this tinted moisturizer has a rather um, a yellow base, today I used, I used this concealer by Kuo Beauty in the shade Vanilla because this also has more yellow undertone. For the rest of the makeup, I have used this Natasha Denona Glam Face Palette. So I have used this for my eyes and also for cheeks. And I just reminded how much I enjoy the highlighter is just i'm not a highlighter person but this highlighter it's amazing it's so buttery soft and looks so that's why you might see that i have i'm more glowy because i have added the highlighter is not the job of the foundation so this is um now it's almost four hours since i have applied it and it's just look it's even better than when i have applied it because now my natural oils have been um, going and embracing the beautifulness of this foundation. So yeah, I'm just over the moon. And this is how it looks by the end of the second day. So definitely looks better and it also looks more flawless on the skin compared to the previous day. If I have to tell you one downside, besides the um, poor range of the shades, but this is not such a big downside because the shades are forgiving for sure. The downside is the quantity that you get because you only get 30 capsules and I do believe that one capsule has one ml. No, one capsule has 0 0.2 ml. So sorry, it doesn't have one ml. If you are someone that uses foundation in daily basis, you are going to go through this in one month or so. But if you are someone that just uses foundation occasionally, I think this is ideal and is the best solution for you to have a foundation that it will not expire. You can apply it whenever you need because having in this kind of packaging, it's absolute, absolute genius. So yeah, I don't recommend this for people that are using foundation every single day or if you afford it, by all means, go to this because it's amazing. And also one thing they are claiming is that by using this, your skin will appear more brighter, more luminous. I know it's just a claim because you should not rely on your foundation. You always have to use your moisturizer, your SPF and other things that will help maintain your skin. And yeah, Clorance is for sure and a very underrated makeup brand and skincare brand. And I want to give myself some uh, uh, time and try more of their products. That's why I have a bunch of skincare samples. So this is what I'm going to show you in the second part of the video. I received everything in this beautifully personalized Clarins box. The first product that I purchased is the Clarins Milk Boost Capsules and the other full-size product, it was the kit. So those together were about 50 euros. So I got free shipping and on the kit, I choose this makeup bag, which has a giraffe. I just love it. And it's quite roomy. It is a material one, so it's washable. On the kit that you can build, you are allowed to use to uh, put four products and the makeup bag. So I chose this SPF 50 multi-protecting moisturizer screen that has 10 ml and SPF 50 is always what I aim to. Then I got this foam. What is this? What you are called? Gentle Renewing Cleansing Mousse. This has 
1.7 fluid ounces or 50 ml so it's quite a lot of product just to see if you like it or not this is a dark spot targeting treatment essence also 50 ml quite great quantity those are where travel size it's um, like deluxe travel is not a mini or sample 50 ml it's quite good quantity and the last product it was for your body this is the tonic moisturizing balm with essential oils and this has 30 ml this was a little bit stingy for a body product but it wasn't anything else that has appealed to me because i could pick something else on the sample so i said i can go with this also i think now now i'm confused because when uh, they had also this offer that if you purchase any base makeup including those kind uh, those uh, ampules you are going to get a mascara and i think the foam was coming with that so it wasn't part of the kit and i believe the other thing from the kit was a hand cream so let me search for that i have the bills it's everything in german but doesn't help me too much and also i have the return label in case that i want to return something which is quite nice from them yeah uh, the other thing that was in the kit is the hand cream it's only 8 ml so it won't even <laughs> last me through my um, vacation to milano because 8 ml you can use it once or two times but maybe i will pack it with me and the rest of those are the samples so how many i have here i have seven samples and the other two are the lip oil and the primer so the samples that i picked up are these multi-intense new no super restorative night cream that lifts re lifts replenishes and targets wrinkles 5 ml and i have my friend jackie naturals she is receiving a nice pr from clarence and i was always wanting to try that double eye serum because she loves it, loves it so much so yeah she was one of my inspiration for purchasing from clarence this is the new hydra essential cream that i think i have seen her uh, doing a review and this is 5 ml even though those are samples they are coming in outer packaging so it's just amazing you do get this kind of product in look fantastic or glossy box boxes and they are considered like a full-size product or one of your products if you have six products this is what as much as you get getting those for free it was amazing so yeah this is blue and the full size of product it's also blue another sample is this total cleansing oil this is even better this is 10 ml and this is what he looks like then i picked up another spf because yeah and this is 8 ml this is S spf 50 sun care gel 2 oil oh this is very interesting so i might get this i don't know how much i need for three days of application let me know okay but it's not gel it smells so nice okay and what i have here this is a extra firming new um wrinkle control regenerating night cream also 5 ml and i also picked up two foundation actually foundation and concealer i wanted to try i don't know if i shade match but i never tried any foundation from clarence so this is the skin illusion foundation that contains red yania or jania and the shade is 103n and this is the concealer which is called everlasting concealer with organic oat sugars and this is in the shade 01 light so those were seven and the last two samples are this primer and the oil that i cannot find it because everything is a big mess right now on this table yeah so i'm uh, definitely loving and for a sample to get this much it's amazing and together with the milky boost capsules i got free mascara and free cleanser these those were coming now remember that those were coming with the milky capsule so yeah guys this is my review and this is my haul from from clarence now it's your turn to come into the scene and let me know if you have tried anything from clarence if you like their brand because yeah i'm uh, now more and more interested to get to know this wonderful brand and the very underrated so yeah please let me know if you have tried this product specially and if you enjoy this kind of videos don't forget to subscribe 
hit the notification bell and also never forget that the most beautiful at you of you is your own smile. And other than that, I'm going to see you soon with another video. Bye, you guys! Guys, I'm so rude that I almost forgot to let you know to which product those Clarence Milky Boost capsules reminded me of as soon as I... Uh, put them on my skin. So yeah, if you cannot find this or you find the price is too high for you and you don't justify to pay almost $30 for 30 days of use, then you can try this tinted hydrator by Wet n Wild.